Awesome hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Musimon or Musimon uh, app link plate set. That took forever to get out, but I'm not sure. The description will say what it's actually called, but it's just kind of what I'm calling it randomly. But anyway, um, I don't even know if I'm saying Musimon right or Musimon because. Again, this is like the millionth Digimon review I've filmed where I've only seen through episode 4 as of this filming. You could be in the future where this series is completed and, you know, Skynet's gone live, but I've only seen episode 4 as of this point in the timeline. Damn it, Barry! But anyway, so, first of all, um, I just want to comment that I actually already threw away the box now. So this is like twice as hilarious, but in the last review, which the one right before this should have been Dokemon's, right? And I didn't know the name of the second ship, and I even couldn't understand what the driver was saying but it says the name on the box and I totally forgot that so I was like the dumbest boy in school and then this one I made sure to look at the box but then I threw the box away so I can't remember this guy's name offhand now but so I'll probably put an annotation up on Dokemon's but it's just really funny anyway setting these aside again you get a plate here which does nothing other than be aesthetically pleasing and different um, and just like blue and reds it's nice looking for sure it's got a really nice shiny look to it you have the more the music symbol to go along with him and stuff like that it's really simple to switch out just turn and all that stuff it doesn't change the sounds just the aesthetics but it looks cool nonetheless okay so now we will do the individual sounds for these guys and then we will do uh their combined mode and then their burst modes probably since i kind of skimp on that and then oh, wow, i almost did that again it's really funny let me just get a good look at him there we go so there's his chip same quality as the other chips he's got a really cool artwork on there all right so now let's do this whoops Sounds more like Mewjimon. Okay, we're gonna do it again with burst mode. I also realized that I haven't been saying it because it should seem kind of obvious and I said it in the initial review but you activate burst mode by pressing this button over and over again until the screen turns red. Alright, let's just do his individual one. First mode. Alright, so now I'm going to cut away to just having it prepped for the combined mode. Okay, so we got him loaded in there, let's do the combined mode.
So medium on, I'm gonna forgo burst mode for this since it would just be the same thing uh, with just burst over it basically. And if like in the future you want me to always show burst mode for the combined mode, let me know and I'll fix that in the next review. I'm just kind of doing a test for the second one. But anyway, that's pretty much about it for this. Uh, just like with the other one, I recommend it if you like this guy's stuff. It's just like Rider, Rider merchandise where it's, you know, all the same quality. It just depends on your taste. So this is just as nice as Dokemon said. It just depends on whether you want one or all of the different plates and the different sounds. I, I do recommend in general that you at least get one or two plate sets or one of the random boxes to make the most out of your purchase of the Apple Drive, but that's pretty much as far as it goes. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you have the crazy podcast at writersrangerrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to like comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Writer, signing out.